and like I showed you guys everything. I showed you guys my upsell. We scaled this one store, one product to $34,000. Hey guys, what's up? This is episode 6. Thank you so much for watching this series and following along by the way. I really appreciate it. I put a lot of effort into this series. Like, this is something that I could have packaged and sold it for $9.95, $9.97, $1,000 and created a course out of it. But I really wanted to just give back and do something different and change up the YouTube educational space. And that's what I'm going to continue to do with this series and just sort of make it very professional. Before we get into this episode, let's announce the last video's winners for $1,000 worth of courses or consulting calls with me. The winner's here. Or if you do qualify, drop a comment below. Follow me on Instagram, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and I'll be picking the best comment every single video. Other than that, let's get right into the episode. Go to the shipping settings, and in this video, I'll take you guys through the whole shipping setting setup, step by step, over my shoulder. So I go to add shipping zone. Actually, I start by editing the United States shipping first, and then I remove the free shipping, edit the name, change it to flat rate shipping and then for local I'll do it at $5.95 as I mentioned previously and then I'll add in Canada I'm going to do this I'm going to do $5.95 for both Canada and United States wait for it to save go back and now I will go ahead and edit the worldwide shipping so I'll edit change it to flat rate international remove the free shipping name it flat rate international no maximum order price and i charge it at five charge it at 6.95 so this is a good way to get an extra you know 10 to 20 percent in margin and then i make sure that united states and canada can't be selected it's rest of the world and then save and that's the shipping setting set up step by step pretty easy right and since you're following this step by step previously what you saw was a default setting so when you set up a shopify store you're going to have the exact default settings as I have and all you have to do is just copy what I did step by step in today's video. So order 001 was successful, the website is very clean, the video works, it's a pop-up. So what I'm doing now is after sort of going through the website, checking it, making sure everything's good, I go to YouTube and I search some motivational music. Um, what I'm looking for is music for the video ad for the watch that I'm going to make. So I'm looking for some songs that might match the theme. So I click on it, not the type of music I want. Then I try this one, listening to it, not the type of music I want. And I want to go ahead and check out the YouTube royalty, royalty free folder. Check out the songs they have. Put mood to calm, inspirational. Try out a bunch of songs to find out which one suits best for me. As you can see, I love testing. I'm not like Superman. Like you think all these gurus instantly know the song they want to pick, instantly know how their store should set up look like, instantly have this blueprint in their mind. No, everyone is human and you just figure it out step by step each at a time. And we've sort of done it so much where we don't get overwhelmed with this sort of immense amount of things we have to do left and right. And that just comes with practice. So now I'm going to open up Final Cut Pro to go ahead and edit our creative. As you can see, I, I put in the music. But as you can see, what I did was I started by adding in a fade in at the very beginning. And every single time there was sort of like a beat. See, if you look at the music sort of score and time, like I put the cursor, cut it exactly where it sort of has the next sort of sound and drop and I'm dropping in images at each sort of beat. So check it out, beat image drop, beat image change. Transform this, stretch it out. This is the whole editing process, like no one, like no one shows you this thing, like this is everything A to Z guys. So there's a beat, image change. I'm finding for that, looking for that next beat. I found that next beat here. Now I'm gonna go to the sort of peak of the beat. I move sort of two cursors afterwards, and then that's sort of where the, it changes back. So beat, 
image change. So I want to make sure there's no black bars on the side. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm stretching it to make sure like there isn't any black bars and it actually stretches out of the video. The so beat image change and then beat image change back to video. See how it's sort of synced up to the song. Do the exact same thing, found, found the beat, went two sort of uh, microseconds forward, find another image to drag in and yeah. And this whole process, you could hear the audio and everything. The full recording is gonna be in the description below. Um, but for now, since you know this is pretty um, standard, and I just sort of redo exactly what I just said again and again, I'm just gonna go ahead and fast forward from now. And then as you can see, the next thing I do is I try to add in a zoom effect because when it changes image, it's a bit too boring. I wanted to add in this cool zoom in effect as the beat drops. See how awesome that looks? Um, Final Cut Pro is currently just lagging, so you can't sort of see in action. But I'm going to add in the zoom now. I'm going to try watch it and see if it doesn't lag. See, look how amazing and professional that looks. Like I'm doing this for free. Like this is an ad that people might charge hundreds of dollars for. And you guys get to learn the blueprint right here, right now. And let me give you guys a heads up. Like this video that we're making got like millions of views. And then bam, transition again bit lag there um, but we go ahead and basically apply this transition for each one of the jumps and then one of the next things I do is you know I was seeing that it was very boring when the image was there for just two seconds two to three seconds I definitely could have thought that during the transitions to a still image that customers can get very bored and sort of just exit out of the video and not continue watching so to make it more engaging just because I knew that a lot of people in today's time have a very small attention span, I created this Ken Burns effect where it sort of zooms and moves the image. So even though the still image are still image, using a Ken Burn effect, um, it makes it look like it's moving. Check this out. Man, like you guys are learning so much. You're learning everything in this series today. So check this out. Transition, and it zooms in. How clean is that? And I basically apply the exact same thing to all the other still image. So I'm coming up with these ideas on the spot as I go, as you can see, nothing's pre-planned. I don't have a blueprint. So we're onto the next part now. And as you can see, I apply the Ken Burns effects to the whole video. I put in a watermark that says 360 glide, slap it right on top of the video so no one can copy me. And this is the final edit. Check out how clean this looks. So beautiful. Look at that. Super professional. Like, look at that. And like right now it looks a bit blurry. It will look way better on mobile where it's sort of zoomed more in. But this is the ad that's going to get millions of views and we're going to be using, look at that. I sort of use a Ken Burns effect to go upwards. Amazing. I'm surprised. I'm shocked. How can this not sell? So now we're going to go ahead and create the 360 glide um, page on Facebook. Brand, um, 360 glide. Um, I don't know if it's sort of a myth, but I've heard that the category brand does much better when it comes to sort of promoting your products. Upload a profile picture. We're going to upload that logo we made on episode one, that beautiful logo that we made. We're going to upload a cover photo, which is just 360 glide. Unfortunately, the image was too small. So I went ahead and opened up Photoshop. Canvas size, made sure the image pixels are larger than 6400. Um, and I just sort of zoomed out this logo. Cropped it. So now it's sort of bigger and Facebook should be able to accept it. Go back to the Facebook page. So now I could go ahead and add a cover, choose from photos, upload photo, upload that logo I just made. Position it to there. <laughs> Even though everything's cut off, it does work for now. Then on the left-hand side, underneath your name, it says create a paid username. So I just renamed it to 360 Glide and luckily it was available. So now we have facebook.com forward dash 360 Glide. How amazing is that? Everything is just coming together. 
then we go ahead and upload the ad that we just made. Everything that you've watched over the past five episodes has been done over a period of like two to three hours. With all this fast forwarding, all these episodes we've been making it, if you take a step back, that literally took me three to four hours, which is insane. Like I'm shocked at the amount of work I've been able to do. That's the end of episode six. I'm gonna stop it there um, before it gets too overcrowded and I just overload you guys with more information. Um, we'll leave the Facebook ads and everything for the next episode. And yeah, I'm very excited for the upcoming episode. Like we're getting to the juicy part, the Facebook ads, the sales, everything. Like this is when things get really interesting. So again, thank you so much for watching this series. I've been putting my heart and soul to really make this a high level production. So I wanna thank you guys for watching it. And you know, if you're finding value, please share this. That would really help me um, because I've been listening to a lot of Gary Vee and like rather than packaging this into a course, I wanna just give it away for free. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, drop a comment below. Question of the day. If you have the guts to do this, it doesn't have to be your current store, but one of your store names. So this is 360glide.com. We got 360glide-facebook. We got like, drop your store name below. I wanna hear everyone's cool different domain names. Um, and yeah, it doesn't have to be your current store. It could be one of your first stores. One of my first store was like superheromerchco.com. That's, that's it. That I just gave you guys my one of my first stores. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow. Peace. Everything that you've watched over the past five episodes has been done over a period of like two to three hours. Like with all these fast forwarding, with all these, these ah, bit myself. With all these, you can make a TikTok out of that. Oh man, that hurts.